Hi, Chetan. Uh, welcome to this particular series wherein we are interviewing people who got trained through us and got placed in various companies. And uh, this is 360 Digit MG series which we started to help people understand on how our students became successful in the field of data science. So thank you so much, Chetan, for giving your time in the first place. Uh, hello, Barney. Uh, thank you. First of all, uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to explain my uh, story, I can say. And also, thanks to the whole team, T60 Digit TMG. Uh, thank you to the trainers, uh, uh, Sharad, Nitin, and all the mentors, Kanish, who uh, spent a lot of time with me and made this journey well. Thank you to every, each and everyone. Yeah, uh, and uh, thanks to the 360 thank you, thank you. team uh, once again. Thank you so much. So, Chetan, the first question is, you are from non-IT background. You are from EC, Electronics and Communication background. So, yeah. I'm so far yet through your grit and determination, you got into this field of data science. Can you help us understand your journey of transitioning from a non-IT background into the covert field of data science? Yeah, thank you, Bernie. Yeah, actually, uh, it was uh, quite difficult for me in the initial days uh, where I'm going through to looking for a job in IT, where I'm from a non-IT and uh, understanding about the IT may be difficult. I went to some other coaching like Linux initially, which didn't well well for me. Later, I went through uh, some course curriculum uh, here and there. There, I find that 360 Digit TMG course curriculum. And uh, initially, it was tough for me to make it understanding and uh, completely shift towards uh, IT sector. But when I attended a few sessions initially, I thought this would be a good, uh, and I kept some whole interest of mine to learn this, which made me easily understandable of this curriculum and content, everything delivered by the trainers. That made me easy to shift my career towards uh, IT sector. Uh, and also, I can say I was not a maths background student initially. Based on your classes, which I have attended, made me uh, very well impressed and learned uh, my focus towards this data science improved very much from my side. That's where I can say I am uh, shifted my career towards IT with the help of you trainers. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Chetan. I, I was on mute, sorry, my bad. So you also worked as an intern, right? And you worked yeah. in the field of real world projects. You have done, I believe, server log analytics and bunch of other projects, right? Under the flagship of InnoDataTix. Yeah. So did that really help you? And to what extent did it help you, Chetan? Obviously, uh, those are my stepping stones, I can say, where I felt myself like when entering into the real time, I mean, in the companies like HTC and HCL where I worked, I don't feel like these are the new things that I should fear of. Because of those real time projects that I worked as an intern in Innovatics made me easy. And the real time projects that I have worked uh, within a training, all those made me easy to jump and kickstart easily my process in the company. That made me very easy. That helped a lot, really. Like, uh, no feel of fearing for the new projects when it comes. It's like uh, whatever I did in there, I'm just doing the same here. That made me easy, understandable, and helped me a lot. Wonderful, wonderful, Chetan. Thank you so much. So you're saying that uh, real-world projects have actually helped you because when you started working on your projects, yes. you were able to look at similar... Yes, correlate that and I can, the business understanding or whatever the EDA process or everything, what I did is there is same what I can, what I'm doing right now here is the same. So it helped me a lot. I practiced a lot there and the same steps I'm doing here, wherever it's a coding or a EDA or deploying, everything that is what same that I'm doing here, it helped me a lot. Wonderful, Chetan. So Chetan, um, I have one final question. While there are a bunch of things which people have to take care of in order to get into this field of data science, right? In the previous sessions, people have told that it's all about perseverance, sticking to ensure that you get to that end objective of uh, getting a job, right? 
and uh, ensuring that constantly you practice and things of that kind. So from your perspective, if I were to ask only one most important suggestion that you want to give to the students and participants who are undergoing the training, then okay. what would that be, Chetan? My suggestion would be uh, completely follow the assignments and practice a lot of those assignments. Do the real-time projects very well. That will help you a lot. Okay. So that, that there, there goes uh, the final word or the sentence or one-line suggestion from Chetan friends. Anyone who is undergoing the training, please ensure that you work on real-world projects. I keep saying this that people who successfully cross the finish line, they 100% get a job. It's all about sticking to it. A lot of people are like, they get started and immediately they drop. So that's not going to help friends. It depends on your IQ level as well. For a few people, it might take uh, six months to get a job. A few people get the jobs even before the training is completed. 60, 70% of the training is done, they get a job. A few people get a job after six months post the training. So additional six months is needed for them to groom their skills. So constantly stay in touch and you would get a job. But real world projects like what Chetan was saying is extremely important. You know, almost all of our students who got trained, got jobs, thanks to the real world projects. Uh, solving some real world project will actually help a lot. Assignments also do the same. Yeah, uh, following those assignments helped me a lot in understanding the real world projects, correlating them closely. That helped us a lot. Absolutely. So, and and one more good thing that I've observed about you is Chetan, you never told no, right? When we ask you to relocate to Bengaluru, you never told no, right? When we ask you to again come back to Hyderabad, you never told no. When we were uh, pushing a lot of work to you with respect to real world projects, you never said no. So if you ask me, that was also one additional attribute, Chetan, which helped you uh, get to the place where you are, right? So continue the same spirit, sure, buddy. never Thank say you. no, right? Take up the challenging opportunities and that will show you the success route. Yeah. Sure, buddy. Thank you very much. Absolutely, Chetan. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure seeing you. Thank and you. Buddy. We yeah. both have our birthdays on the same day. So really <laughs> Wish each other. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, thank you for, very much for giving me this opportunity to thank uh, Prisit DGTMC. Thank you. Thank you, Chetan. Thank, thank you. Bernie.